I've been talking about trying to fix stick drift on Xbox One controllers made by Microsoft, and I've not had any real luck, but the same technique seems to work fine on these PDP controllers like this one. Let's take a look at what I did. This is the underside of the controller, and this circle of solder dots is the location of the joystick. And if you look very carefully, you'll see that there's something a little bit different going on in one spot only. So over here, I put a couple of surface mounted resistors. What I'm doing there is I'm actually allowing more electricity to get from here to here. The center dot here is the readout pin from the joystick. So the amount of voltage flowing in there tells the controller where the joystick's located. So by allowing extra voltage to flow along this path, what I'm getting is a bias towards that direction. The reason I used two resistors is just that I didn't have a single resistor that had the right amount of resistance. So here I've got a total of, I believe, 64K ohms. If I had less resistance, the bias would have been greater, and that was too much bias. So that's why I had to put two together. I'm actually pretty proud of that. Unfortunately, I can't zoom in on it to really get a good view of it. Actually, maybe I can. Let's try. Whoa! So there you go. That's how you do it. You just melt the solder on two of the pins, jam your surface-mounted resistors into them, and then add another blob of solder to join those two resistors. Now, to be clear here, there's no reason to use two resistors if you had a single one that was the right amount. You would just let it bridge the gap. So it's a real easy technique to do as long as you have a soldering iron that's broad enough to be able to heat both of those blobs of solder up at the same time. I just want to demonstrate that the end result doesn't have any of the distortion that you see with official Xbox controllers. So the two dots represent the neutral point of the controller. This is the left stick, which I have not modified, and you can see that it's biased to the left. And it's still pretty smooth despite that bias. This one over here is the one I fixed. It used to be biased so that when you had it in its neutral position, it sat somewhere around minus 11 or 12 percent. You can see that I've pushed it back towards the center. Now the reason I didn't go all the way to the center is that it can in fact sit over here too. So you sort of have to choose your poison. You get it to be as close to neutral as possible. In any case, if you use it in normal everyday use where you let go of the joystick once you've pushed it to its full range, you can see that it's doing a pretty good job of centering itself. And if you look carefully, you'll see that it's smooth and continuous over the whole range, even though I've added those resistors. So, adding some resistors to the potentiometer in the joystick does work with some manufacturers' joysticks, even on the Xbox One. Unfortunately, I've only really had consistent success doing this with these PDP-1. <laughs> That's a joke for uh, the real tech nerds. With these PDP rock candy controllers, or actually any PDP controller seems to work fine.